There are a couple oh. figures in media who are A-teamers. You know, that yep. you know, I've always been realistic about my role in the whole media ecosystem, okay? Yes, yeah. You're the you're the fish in the tank where that's kind of floating on its side and nobody's bothered to remove it from the tank because every time they, they're like, it's dead, and they tap it, it moves a little bit, and they're like, ah, I'll leave it alone. Okay. I'm the I'm a B guy. I'm Whoa. Somebody's elevating himself. He's he's B now. I, I aren't you C now because you were kicked off the network? Isn't that how that works? I'm a B guy. Is nothing wrong with the B guy? I don't mean it's an insult. Uh you know <laughs> to other B guys. I go the D list and all that. That's from socialites. No, I mean if there was a grading system, A, B, C, D, E, whatever, down the alphabet, you got your A guys in media that are gonna bring an audience. Yeah, and I'm almost that. The fuck out of here. Wherever they go. And keep in mind, this is regardless of their politics. You got your Rush Limbaugh's, sadly not with us anymore. Yeah, so is he... When you die, do you get moved out of the A's? Just, I mean, as a matter of impact. You've got, are, you a, are you a D guy once you're dead? You got your Donald Trumps. People... Yeah, totally an A-lister. That's why he's headlining the Lee County GOP dinner instead of giant rallies. Command so media. They command media. Uh, you know, like Florida man. Your Joe Rogans. And I got to tell you, I... My Joe Rogans or your Joe Rogans? I mean, they're, we all have our own Joe Rogan. I... It's like, it's like our... Uh, uh, our old, El, our own El Guapo. I, I think I put Tucker Carlson in that category too. Your Howard Stearns. Mm -mm. Again, I'm not suggesting or uh, you know that these people like Stearns specifically. I think lost his way a while ago. But these are guys who can command media. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, and Tucker's one of those guys, which is why he was on Crossfire and then had one show on Fox, and then they gave him a little spinoff on Fox Nation, and then he got fired. I mean, that's how he'll be remembered. But obviously his impact was something. Tucker was one of those guys. And I got to tell you, I am still in shock about his departure from Fox News. I've had a day. More, more uh, in shock than your departure? Day to think about it. I've got a lot of thoughts on this. Yes, he's got a whole day to think about it, which is twice as much as he usually thinks about anything now, else. So bear with me in the show today. There's a lot to get to. You know, we got to remember he served as a really important check. Tucker on the establishment GOP, which had dominated the political ecosystem for years on the right. Yeah, they and they managed to get like Supreme Court justices seated and they managed to pass tax cuts and they managed to hold on to the House and Senate. And then Trump came in as an outsider and fucked it up for everybody. It's yeah, it's, it's the, that damn establishment dominated. Them. Don't get me wrong. I, I appreciate it. I I like the damage Tucker did to the Republican Party. The thing, and but Trump's doing plenty of it now, so we don't even need tankers, the donors. Those are real people. He yes, Cor corporate donors are people, my friend. Served as a really important check on that. A lot to discuss today. It's going to be a fascinating show. Stay oh boy, dude! In these crazy days, no. he's got to reach. Oh, this is an ad. Bond charge. All right, Joseph. Let's go, Daddy. -o. Welcome to one of the world's most fascinating shows. I, I hope we, that was, that's a Joe segueing from our conversation pre-show about how the. Um, I think it's closer Not to this. shorts and bend over Mitch Babar. Um, the media guy. landscape is changing so fast and so. It, yeah, it's the landscape. Rapidly. But there you, you got to remember, there are people who, I had an interesting right. conversation yesterday with a friend. I'll, I'll be the judge. I will that. leave the friend's name out of it. Because they don't exist. I got you. And they're not really a friend. But was asking me all kinds of questions about what should I do, a podcast or this or the other thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much a friend as a, as a weird sycophant follower in the office. And um, the friend of mine. I, the friend of mine. I, I said to her, you know, if you've got to ask to be on shows, you're in a little bit of trouble. Wouldn't you agree, Joe? Like there are people who are on the yes. A, B, and I'd argue even the C list. And I know that C list has a negative connotation, but throw that out for a minute. The A, B, and C, they don't need to, they don't need to go fetch media. Media comes to them all the time. Joe knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, don't call uh, us, we'll call you. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly, exactly. No. And then you start getting. C-listers have publicists as well. That's how they get to be B and A-listers. Getting a D, E, and F, 
And then you have to start pushing people to have you on. Tucker's not one of those people. Tucker commands media presence. It yeah, unless his contract states that he can't for some fucking Gives reason. him a different amount of cachet in the business. Ooh, cachet. You don't say. Ooh la la. He's got cachet, folks. He's going to be fine. He, instead of just reciting news, he makes news. Yes, because he foments violence and sides with authoritarian regimes and people go, oh my God, did you hear what that asshole said? That's news. It's not his function in theory as a Fox News host, but he He's doesn't. an A-list guy. I would put him in there again with, with Rush, who again, is obviously- I'm glad you're at least not repeating yourself this early in the you're show. You're not with us. Rogan and Stern, people who- they just command media. They just do it. When, when they, what they say can make news. They mm, At some point, only if it's the most outlandish, bullshitty, anti-vaxxer kind of stuff, the rest of the time they kind of hum in the background with an enormous audience, but a, but a narrow one. Stern definitely has his locked-in audience. So does Rogan. Uh, it, but it's not like... They draw a crowd new anew all the time. It's, I mean, it's the benefit of having guests on all the time is that you you basically can barnacle some of whoever your guest audience is. Attract people to them. They don't have to go and attract themselves to other people. They do it by interviewing people that have an audience. And those people leave some of their audience behind, like a stain on the seat. There's going to be a heavy... Heavy bidding war, I assume, for his services at some point. Uh yeah, at some point. At, you know, either on on the assembly line at Swanson Frozen Foods or in the tasting center. Uh, Tucker, at, at some point, <laughs> whenever he's ready. I don't know what his contract is. It's not my business. I haven't asked and no one discloses it to me. But I'm, got, I'm so glad we're getting so much insider information right now. Good Lord. But you got to remember, too. Tucker commanded a pretty heavy presence on the libertarian-leaning side of the Republican Party, too. The side that's skeptical about Ukraine. The side that was skeptical early on about COVID, when Tucker was one of the first people out there to say, hey, do these masks work? What about this vaccine thing? What about this vaccine thing? Yeah, he was just asking questions. Tucker's always been a skeptic of this effort to democracy build overseas. And this, you have to remember, create... No, he hasn't. He was just... It, it, he was just regretting that he supported the Iraq war. What the fuck are you talking about? The significant rift with the establishment GOP, which I promise you is very, very real. Yeah, the, yeah, uh, they're some sort of Illuminati swamp something. Very real. Very real. They're so real. They're real. They actually, it, so you're telling me that uh, Republicans over time established a party and tried to maintain it. Weird. Why would anybody do that? He's got a ton of options moving forward. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He's got, he can do, he can tan the left one and then the right one, or the right one, then the left one. Now. He can uh, sell his laugh as, uh, you know, to, to toys at, the, at Oz stores. Daily Mail covered this in this piece I'm going to get to here in a second. It's all in the newsletter today, Bongino.com slash newsletter. Yeah, we're all, we can't wait. But a couple things, because I got a lot of email yesterday and texts and solicitations from people. Oh, dear. I didn't even know you put out. Saying, Dan, did you know? I did not know. I told you my contract situation and Tucker's were completely, totally different. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you both got fired in silence. Um, it, was, it was definitely not, you know, acrimonious on my end at all. Because you need the work and... It, with him, it is because he doesn't need the money. Um, and uh, there was no reason for it to be. We just couldn't agree on terms. I mean, I don't want to do this show again, but being that Tucker was let go, everybody's kind of attaching us, us together. I'm a big supporter of Tucker Carlson's content, but I'm telling you that our, our contracts and, and what yeah. happened with him were... Yeah, it's just like the radio earlier this year when he was kicked off the radio. Don't tie those together. They, he just couldn't agree to the terms, which was they didn't want to pay him anymore and didn't want his show on their network. And he couldn't agree to those terms and at the radio stations. And so the same thing happened at Fox. And he would be stupid to take the deal, 
you know, as they offered it in, you know, when he didn't take it for radio to stop doing it immediately and leave, which he did, I think. We're completely disparate incident. I'm, I'm, oh, yeah. I know I was there. Remember, I don't have an agent. I, mm -hmm. I do my own Anymore. deals. Lawyers, I have lawyers. I don't have agents. I use my own business acumen to negotiate deals. And so that's why you've lost your radio show and your television show in the last six months. Cool. Just saying, maybe an agent. All right. But he's got a ton of options. And because he can command media, and he's an A-list guy. But can he command media? That's the question. Guy who makes news by the things he says. Can he make news by the things he says, not just report the news? But does he command media? You should you should mention that rather than the you know reciting the news like a lot right rather than reciting it he commands he makes news yeah I somebody said that earlier today and I it's been so long I can't remember a lot of other it. people in the business happen to do he is going to get major league attraction and magnetism from other places the he's going to totally get magnetism from other places yeah his you know RT Daily Mail is one of many outlets already speculating what'll what'll Tucker do next wow there's the speculation. Ousted Fox News host can start his own online show, join a rival network like former anchors, or even up, even end up running for president. Yeah, that's what generally people have said. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get to the screenshot from this piece in a minute. They described some interesting options. I'm going to go through today. I'm going to do something different than other people have done. Um, not so far. You're talking out of your ass and you're boring as shit. I have, I have not spoken uh, to Tucker which is exactly what everyone else is saying. So apparently he's not returning anybody's fucking phone calls. I've reached out, but I have not spoken to him. So he, 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 I guess it, maybe it's he worries about the stench of failure. About, about any of this at all. So don't read into any of this too much. But I want to go through each, we don't. each of the options because it applies to a lot of people. And I want to explain to you why it's different than hosts in the past who have left. You have had other people who've left in the past. Some have done exceptionally well, uh, i.e. Megyn Kelly. Megyn Kelly is... Um, 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 yeah, she left because Roger Ailes was sexually harassing her. That's different. Based on, I'm in the podcast business. I can tell you right now, I follow it. I am a, 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 a rabid capitalist and I am super competitive. Megyn Kelly's show gets a ton of viewership. She makes news over there. Megyn's one of those... But does she report the news or she make the news? That, so you're, you're saying... That she's got that Tucker something. Was, maybe Fox could hire her. Oh, right. Maybe a people too. She can make news herself. She went out, did her own thing. She's doing just fine. I mean, I got to tell you, I'm not sure she even regrets leaving. Well, no, because she was being sexually harassed by Roger Ailes. I'm, I'm certain. <laughs> she's but. probably making a good fortune over there. It's definitely in the high millions. It's definitely in the high millions. I don't know why you're right. You don't need an agent. I would I would kick the lawyers at the curb too. I like with this kind of uh, business acumen, the high millions on what she's doing over there. Other people haven't been so successful. Right. Like uh I think a Shep Smith. Shep, Joe, wouldn't you agree? Like people watched the was it the three o'clock show when Shep was there because it was Fox, not because it was Shep. Exactly. That's yeah. just, and you can tell because yeah. when Shep left, nobody followed him, but everybody stayed at Fox. So I think one of the mistakes, and I'm sorry, live chat, folks, if this isn't interesting, let me know. Like, is, if this is too pal yes. palace intrigue, palace intrigue, it's fucking boring. Yeah, you too. Let me know. But I've got so many questions about this yesterday. There's so much speculation going. Oh, God. I can't. I, I'm, I, I can't. I'm not. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. Like, these fuckers have no idea. No idea. It's, a, a, like, it's a magnificent waste of time. And can we just, I think, enjoy it for a minute. Let's just enjoy the fact that none of these motherfuckers have any idea what this is all about.